This project has been three months in the making and I'm finally done. What's significant about this goose house is that the geese were eating my duck eggs, guys. And I wasn't getting any duck eggs and I realized I cannot have the geese living with the ducks. Therefore, the idea for the goose caboose was born. This is one of those videos that took me months to film. But let's get into how I built this amazing goose house, the Goose Caboose. Just out here working on this goose caboose. Got the last wall piece that I'm gonna put on right now. I've been struggling with the roof because I want it to look like a real vintage caboose, you know? So it has to be a curved roof. But of course, the only kind of roof that you can get are those kind of, you know, farm type tin roofings and the ribs go this way. So, you know, I don't know how the water's gonna drain off because I'm gonna curve it. <laughs> It is what it is, it'll be fine. I'm sure no water's getting in. I'd say it's looking pretty good so far. I got the cupola put on there and I got the curved roof on top of the cupola. And I'm just gonna put this last piece on and she's looking good so far, folks. <laughs> For the run of this goose house, I decided to go with a paw hut structure. And I mean, they call it like a chicken coop, but it's just a run. It just sits on top of the ground. You know, there's no main structure to it, but the cost of lumber, I decided to try using this. It's all done with these metal bars and they just, you know, they just got these little snap things that fit together. And if I built this thing out, out of wood, 
I mean, you can't just put wood down on the ground either, you know. You need to put some kind of stones around the edge, and I don't want to make that kind of investment right now. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name's Chad and my wife and I bought this 90 acre property about two years ago now and we've been creating this farm stay environment and one of the things we accomplished early on is we built this amazing duck house. We got ducks, the ducks are awesome, then we got a few geese, the geese are supposed to be the guard geese for the ducks while they're free ranging in the orchard. That's the whole idea with this permaculture orchard here guys. Free range the ducks. They help keep the insects down, they help fertilize, and the geese help protect the ducks. The geese also eat the grass. Ducks don't eat too much grass, but the geese eat the grass, and it helps in having a little bit less labor to mow the lawn. The goose caboose is a state-of-the-art, never-before-been-seen, very unique, very cool. I think it's the coolest goose house on earth. May I present to you the Hidden Spring Farms Goose Caboose number one. I think the color really pops in the orchard here, you know? Anywhere where you go around this area in the permaculture orchard and you see this big red structure and then when you get a little bit close to it, whoa, it's a caboose! Don't forget guys, we're trying to create an amazing farm stay vacation rental and experience here at the Hidden Spring Farm. So, one of the things I like to do is build cool structures for the animals that makes it very interactive for the guests who come and stay here at the farm. <laughs> Trying to introduce my goose caboose and my own geese are pushing me away. They're attacking me. Look at this one. Whoa. What a bunch of bees. Gosh, there's only three of them. Where's the fourth one? <laughs> Look, Olive wants to come and save me. You okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, man. My heart's pounding. I almost got... Almost got nailed by them geese. <laughs> you okay, Fuzzy? Hey, buddy. How are ya? How are ya? Olive, you stay there. Stay. 
One goose egg. One goose egg. <laughs> that occasionally happens. Look at the size of this goose egg. They'll lay it out in the orchard. <laughs> Look, they're watching me. They're watching me. You gotta have your head on a swivel out here. They're like little velociraptors. Now, if I'm standing next to this goose caboose, it's awfully tall from the ground level, but you have to understand that the ground here is sloping. Let me see if I can get into the run here while the geese are right there. <laughs> Hopefully they won't get in here. So what I did here is I have a wicked awesome ramp for the geese and they have a big opening for them to get inside the goose caboose. I don't even bother putting a door on there. I use this metal frame style here. It's like a paw hut brand and it allows me to stand up in here and I'm six foot three guys. Mind you, I can't stand over here, I'd have to bend. But in the center, I can stand, I can change out their water. Fuzzy, don't go in the goose house, buddy. <laughs> I can change out their water here, and the water just flows that way. And I got a food dish for them in here. Fuzzy, don't eat the goose food. Fuzzy, something else today. What I did is I just have like a one inch, like a hardware cloth type fencing all the way around. And then I put this metal roof on top and it's pretty, pretty cool, I must say. The geese can really be obnoxious sometimes, especially during breeding season, but honestly, I wouldn't change a thing for the world. I actually really like having the geese. They're very beautiful, and they're really like an alarm system for the farm, you know? If any kind of wildlife is coming in and around here, any of the cats actually, any of the dogs, these geese let me know. It doesn't matter where I am on the farm, they're like a little alarm system and they really let me know that something's going on. The fencing that I have to keep the ducks and the geese in the orchard, I now butt up against the run. And then, of course, you have the run and you have the actual goose caboose itself. And then I have the other side of the fencing right here. And that just goes back in there. And this is the tunnel that I use to get the ducks in and out of the duck house so that they can get out into the orchard onto the fresh pasture. Let's just get around to the other side here. This is gonna be my side. Olive, how you doing? Come here. What are you eating? What are you eating? How are you? You okay? You're all dirty. This is the back side. This is my side to get in. And I'll show you one of the reasons why I like to build these structures so high, it's because I'm six foot three. I want to be able to get in and out of all my animal housing without having to crouch or bend. So that's why I build them so tall. The animals don't need them this tall, really. It's for my convenience. You can see I got a bunch of straw in here and there's the ramp for them to go outside. It's got this huge ceiling up in here. That's the cupola and they've been making some nests and whatnot. Mind you, breeding season's almost finished now. But it's pretty big. It's six feet wide, six feet wide this way, and 12 feet wide this way. So 12 by six is not too shabby for four Emden geese, right? Even if I get a few more geese or these guys, you know, hatch out some goslings, there's a little bit of room in there to have a few more. I have no intentions to have millions of geese running around here though so I just want them to stay with the ducks. You can see I tried my best to make it look like an actual vintage caboose on a train. I even built it with the curved roof just like you see on the old cabooses. Anyways I thought it was a fun play on words because caboose rhymes with goose and I'm pretty handy and I think I did a pretty good job on this goose caboose. Let's go, Fuzzy. Fuzzy! <laughs> He's following me around the farm. <laughs> oh man, Fuzzy's a pretty cool cat though. I love having him around the farm. He's just a slow walker, you know, he follows me around or all of a sudden he'll be there, boom. And uh, he never gives any trouble. He's so cool. This is my custom ultimate duck house that I built a couple years ago. If you're interested in watching a tour of this amazing duck house, click the link below and keep on watching.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Really appreciate you watching. Hopefully you think this idea of a goose caboose is as amazing as I do. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And uh, I really do appreciate you watching. Thank you.